Hey guys, Antihero Sir here, welcome you back to Let's Play Magic Duels. In the last episode, we completed the Oath to Gatewatch DLC. And in this episode, we're going to do Shadows of Innistrad. And it looks like this one's going to be about Jace. So let's get started with the first match. Among Innistrad's dark mountains, Jace Bellerin begins his search. In the one place on the plain that he knows, the home of his ally, Liliana Vess. But his path is fraught with danger, and Jay soon finds a cold welcome at the hands of a pack of werewolves. So we are facing werewolves. Um, so yeah, Shadows Over Innistrad is a werewolf based pack. So yeah. So we're starting out with three islands here a fog bank. Which is a pretty good defender, actually. Um, an illusionary servant. Um, when you sacrifice it, when it becomes a target. Um, put target permanent on top of the owner's library and then investigate. Okay. And pour over the pages. Drop three cards, untap up to two lands, then discard a card. Not bad. Um, I think I'll keep this hand. It's pretty. I did not mean to do that. Crap. Well then, um, Drown Yard Explorers, um, so when it enters we investigate, and Phantasmal Dragon, which sacrifice when it be, when it's targeted, so. I actually wanted to keep that fog bank, but, <laughs> oh well, clicked on the wrong, um, button. So, what are you gonna do? This, this hand's not that bad, um, I like Phantasmal Dragon except for its effect, but oh well. Um, we got a second Downward Explorers. Um, for those that don't know, Investigate is um, whenever you investigate, you get a clue artifact, which has the ability to pay two mana to sacrifice it and draw a card. So, um, he's playing a Village Ice Iron Smith with First Strike and. If no spells were played last turn, at the beginning of each upkeep, transform it, and it transforms into Iron Fang, uh, first strike, with, at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform it. Okay then. So, luckily we'll be able to play Illusionary Servant, so he won't be able to transform this turn. So that's good. Um, let's see my next turn. We got enough land to summon one of our downward explorers, so we will be able to make sure he doesn't transform again. Unless he does it for himself. Crap. So I'm gonna summon a, one of my downward explorers. Fortunately, I do not have another. Um, spell to play. And I don't like the fact that he has seven cards in his hand, but I don't think he has any burn spells, so I'm gonna attack. I can easily block his creature, no problem, and still survive and kill it off, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, you're not doing anything again, but you are discarding a card, because you have to. Okay, what does this transform into? Because that's a really powerful card to begin with. Oh god, 6-5. Um, with Menace. Yikes. Well, good thing he got rid of it. So I'm going to summon another Downward Explorers. Giving me another clue. And then I think I'm going to swing in the air for three again because why wouldn't I? You can't block so you are going to take three damage. So we're doing good so far. And I probably jinxed it by saying that. Oh, he has another land. Is he attacking? No. Are you playing another spell? Yes. A convicted killer. No spells were cast. Transform it into a branded howler 
which if two or more spells were played transform it okay so that's fine I'm still more powerful than them okay so we got an aberrant researcher flying with at the beginning of your upkeep put the top card of your library into your graveyard that's an instant or sorcery card transform it into perfected form Ooh, that's actually <laughs> kind of gross the art's kind of gross but 5-4 of that doesn't transform back I think I'll play it I've got two flying now and I don't see a reason to investigate yet so I'm gonna sw actually I'll swing up everything he has no mana and if he blocks his creatures are going to die so unless he double blocks so which one do I want to kill off first this has first strike so it's going to kill me either way so I'm going to attack his convicted killer then attack the iron fang so first strike is going to deal with three damage and then I'm going to kill his um, convicted killer and then deal four, five damage to him and I think I'm going to investigate with the clue so get another island which is good because that's another chance where I might have had might have wasted an island because of my um, aberrant researcher I'm gonna skip blocking and take the damage so you are playing a solitary hunter um, no spells were played transformed and to a 5 6 e that's dangerous um, I think I want to kill that off as soon as possible. So, what do we get? We don't get a transformation. We got press for answers. Tap target creature does not untap during its controller's next untap step. That is actually a pretty good card. Hmm. I'm going to investigate. Because I want to transform that card. Because I'll tap it. And then summon my dragon. And then make it so that both of his creatures. Actually. Uh, three, six, uh, no, I can't kill him. Um, basically, transform both his creatures back to normal. And then I'll end my turn. So you're transforming like I planned. You're only attacking with that. So I'm going to sack my creature for this. So now I lose another land. Um ooh. I'm going to summon my Phantasmal Dragon. Doesn't matter because he's pretty much dead. And press for answers is one of the pack. And for the hell of it, I'm going to break my clue. Okay, Claustrophobia. And attack with all for game because he can't really do anything. So... Yeah, that's kind of an easy match, but then again, it is the first match of the DLC, so. Oh well. Jace implores Liliana to help him unravel the mystery. She rebuffs him, far more concerned with her own pursuits of the demons that still held power over her and of the chain veil. She points him to Soren's home at Markov Manor, but she offers no other aid. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be doing another battle. Not, well, of course we're doing another battle. So, I've been Anti-Hero Sora. 
you liked this episode, please comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you haven't already, please check out my Facebook and Twitter for video updates and whatnot. And next time, we'll be facing off against what looks like a siren. So, I'll see you then.